professors and those alike have deemed molecular model kits to be an essential part of learning chemistry. So let's go over the pros and cons of using molecular model kits to see if you actually need one and to go over great alternatives. So the pros of a molecular model kit is that they offer a clear tactile advantage. If you're the type of person who not only needs a visual but a physical components of learning, then molecular model kits can be a good option. Not to mention they look pretty cool and they make you look pretty smart. The cons are is that molecular model kits can be limited by their structure. For example, between organic and general chemistry. In general chemistry, you mainly need model kits to view Vesper geometry and electron configurations, such as trigonal planar, tetrahedral, octahedral, etc. In a regular model kit, such as this one, where the carbon only has four bonding locations, you can't manipulate molecules to account for all Vesper geometries. Now, of course, there are molecular model kits that account for both OCHEM and GenChem, but these will eventually cost you more money, which leads us to our next point, which is the extra expense. Model kits usually run about $15 to $30. Now, this isn't really going to break the bank, but it can be an unnecessary cost, especially when you can find free resources that can be just as effective. Finally, model kits just take up too much space, and they aren't very portable. Now, if you plan on keeping a model kit at home, then this isn't going to really be a problem, especially when classes are online. But you have to admit, it's not going to make much sense to have all these pieces on a molecular model kit if you're not going to use all of them. There are three free online resources that I found to be just as effective, if not more, for zero cost. First is FET, which is probably the best for viewing general chemistry Vesper geometries. It's an online molecule simulator. You are able to add more bonds to the structure and view the molecular and electron geometry of the structure. You can also add lone pairs and view the associated bond angles. You can also view pre-made molecules, for example, H2O and all the other ones listed. You are able to add more bonds to the structure and view the molecular and electron geometry of the structure. You can also add lone pairs and view the associated bond angles. As I said earlier, it's completely free and I'll leave a link to the website below. Another great online alternative is Molecule Lab. This app is great for organic chemistry as it allows you to see Newman and Fisher projections. The app works by you selecting which atom you want to view and then you can apply it afterwards. As you see, we could have various bonds, and we could add hydrogens and carbons to the structure. Also, you could shift the hydrogens for either staggered or eclipsed conformation structures. The final online resource is Model AR. It might sound familiar as I've mentioned this app before. You are able to view the atoms, but this app can be limited as it doesn't provide all different atoms that you could choose from. However, as you can see, we can get a 3D representation of the molecule, but another downside is that you can't see conformations in staggered or eclipsed because they simply just don't offer that. But overall, the app is great for viewing and visualizing molecules. Yet again, the link can be found below. And if you still want to experience molecules physically and you want to make your own, then you can use marshmallows, gummy bears, and toothpicks. You could use the marshmallows as carbons, you could use the toothpicks as the bond, and use the gummy bears as hydrogens attached to the carbon. You might just have these laying around or you could just go get them at the store, they're pretty cheap. And the biggest plus is that once you're done studying, you have some snacks. This is a clear advantage over having plastic model kits because you can't eat those. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys found molecular model kits to be helpful. And if you guys please like this video, see you guys next time, peace.